Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to uh, come downstairs into the basement uh, where I got this little 29 gallon tank. Um, I have a couple species of crayfish in here. Um, the one right in front of you happens to be a, let's see if I can pronounce this correctly, Procambrus clarkii. Um, I believe that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure though. Uh, but I came down to check on them, give them some food, um, and I noticed that right there. Uh, this guy right here, he's just molted. It looks like he's molted within the past hour. Um, <clears throat> so there's his complete um, exoskeleton, I suppose. Um, I'm assuming that, uh, you know, as he usually does, within the next hour or so he'll find it and he'll start eating it because that's generally what crayfish do they go back and they eat what they shed in order to gain back all the um, calcium and whatnot I believe um, but I just one thing that I noticed was uh, there's a a very very noticeable difference in how much he's grown um, through this molting process like he's noticeably bigger and I was just, I was very surprised at um, how much bigger he seemed. So, anyway, I just wanted to uh, throw up a little quick video of this. Um, you know, just because anytime you see a crayfish molt, um, you know, you come down and you see the molt immediately. You're like, oh my god, did my crayfish die? But um, then you're like, oh no, this is supposed to happen. So it's just, um, it's a cool process that crayfish go through. And I just wanted to take a quick little video of this guy. Um, so yep, that's it, and uh, we'll see you guys later.